back at it again and let me tell y'all something this journey has been absolutely amazing right watching all of this stuff like i mean sometimes it is a little a little down you know what i mean because of some of the stuff you see going on and you know um people's eyes not being open to the actual truth um but when when i see stuff like what we're about to check out today man does it put a smile on my face one of the people that i have been checking out is a woman by the name of carrie lake i'm sure you guys have heard of the name if not already know exactly who she is all right well project veritas of course you know shout out to project veritas they are doing some fantastic work over there at project veritas make sure you guys go subscribe to their youtube channel but project veritas caught up with carrie lake's opponent katie hobbs who uh from everything that i've seen is just um she's she's pulling off the um the old joe strategy i'm not going to debate i'm gonna run and hide and stay in my basement and hope that uh when i come back out i manage to win she's pulling that strategy well carrie lake she's a no nonsense type of individual for all my arizonians okay <laughs> Check out Carrie Lake, all right? I'm not going to tell you, you know, who to, you know, cast your whatever for, but check out Carrie Lake, okay? Check her out. Um, <laughs> man, is Carrie Lake amazing, and she is no nonsense in calling Katie Hobbs out at every single turn. I know I've talked enough. Like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button if you're new. If you want to follow me on social media too, all of those links are down below, as well as my Discord server. Hope to see you over there. And let's dive in. She was like, oh my gosh. RC Maxwell with Project Veritas action. Yeah. <laughs> Asked a brief question about the statement that you made. Oh, you just closed your soda. Talk to you. I don't want to talk politics to anyone who I don't know. Is that an AR-15? That is an AR-15. Easier to fire than a handgun. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, That's yeah. kind of scary. That's why it's scary. Would Katie support something like oh, an assault? What was that? AR-15? That is an AR-15. Easier to fire. Head political consultant Katie Hobbs campaign. Fire than a handgun. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, That's yeah. kind of scary. That's why it's scary. Would Katie support something like an assault weapons ban? If she could, yeah, I mean, that, the problem is that's a federal issue, right? There's nothing she could do about it. Right. At least immediately, right? Instead of kind of advocating for it publicly, which is really more impactful once you're governor. We have a lot of concerns about it. Oh, 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 so basically wait until you get in office and then push all of this stuff. Lie to, you know, the public. Okay, I got you, I got you. And also, while she bans it, she has people around her that have them? That's quite interesting. Anyway, uh, let's continue on. Why not? We don't know. I would love nothing more than the opportunity to have a substantive conversation about that issue. And Carrie Lake has shown that she's capable of doing that. So we are providing an opportunity for folks to be around the scene and we're going to keep doing it. She just said Carrie Lake is incapable of having a conversation. Remember she said that. And he's like, oh, what do you do? And I was like, uh, I work for Steve, and I don't know why, I think like, just like, now when I'm in this conversation, and like, she's like, wow, Terry Lake, I was like, fuck no. Oh. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk politics to anyone who I don't know. Multiple Project Veritas journalists. And did, did that make sense to anybody? You are running, but you don't want to talk politics with people? Like, that's literally your job. <laughs> to talk politics. Well, what do I know, though? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this, so, you know, I, what do y'all think? investigated the Katie Hobbs campaign for governor in Arizona and found out why Hobbs is unwilling to debate her opponent, Carrie Lake. 
One individual who spoke with our journalist is Jasper Adams, a field organizer with Mission for Arizona. Part of my job is coordinating with the campaigns, um, so we're the coordinating campaign. So, is that so mission? That's mission for Arizona. Okay, that's right. Okay. So like Mark Kelly and Katie Hoff and Tom O'Halloran and Tom O'Halloran's the campaign has been with today. And, uh, okay. And just all the Democrats all buy in so they don't like okay. duplicate efforts. I'm just kidding. Okay. We have a lot of concerns about Katie's campaign. Why? Lots of stuff. She's not debating very late, which is... Why not? We don't know. So it's that sort of thing. So. Really? How do you not know you're her campaign? <laughs> uh, between, between us, when we had really big staff training, her communications director came in, and she's only been in the job for a few weeks. She was not prepared. And our, she was like, what are the questions you're getting that you want an answer for from the campaign? Like, what are we hearing from voters and volunteers? And the number one thing is, why aren't you debating Kayla Lake? not have an answer and so you gotta know like that's it that's like you gotta know that's the question that's coming we so Katie. goodness gracious goodness gracious and then you know also watching stuff like this kind of gives me some ideas if you know what i mean you know because i'm like yo a lot of this stuff is just common sense like what, 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 what's the issue? <laughs> you know, like, goodness gracious. Ah, listen. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think I could, um, I think I could win some things personally, you know, uh, I don't, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything like that, but based on some of the stuff that I've been seeing, man, I'm like, yo, y'all, y'all are just like, I feel like a lot of this stuff is common sense. Like you should, you for example, like what what he just said. You should know that that question is coming. You should be paying attention. You should be scrolling through social media. You should be seeing what people are talking about. You know, checking out YouTube channels and and, and videos and things. And you would know that that has been. I'm new to this, and I know a lot of people have that same question. Why aren't you on the debate stage with her against her? But you didn't know that that was like the main question. Like, why do you even have a job? <laughs> anyway, these employees didn't have an answer, or Katie. Didn't. Okay. Well, she's the communications director, so okay. she makes the message. So the campaign doesn't have an answer. They basically, basically said only Democrats care about debates, and it's not going to change anything. Yeah, but she is a Democrat. <laughs> She was saying, oh, they were saying only Democratic voters here, so it's, they're not going to lose any votes because Democrats are going to vote for anyway, which is which maybe is true, but it, it's as a politician, you never want to say, oh, I'm taking these votes for granted. I do wonder how many, like, whether people actually care about this. Care about what? Like the debate thing. Oh, I think but a lot. How many people do? Yeah. Right? I don't know. I mean, it's you hard. said that's like the number one question you're getting. Yeah, that's like a big question, especially from volunteers. Mm -hmm. I don't know about voters. The average voter doesn't really even know about this. I think it's as simple as that. They just don't think that the debate is worth her time, either because they think it's not going to change anyone's mind or they think it might actively be bad for her in some way. So she's good at this kind of public facing stuff, even though she's a terrible candidate. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, Katie Hobbs is like policy focused. She's very good at her job as Secretary of State. She'll be a great governor. So you think like Carrie, Carrie would probably win? Well, I, I, you know, winning the, everyone thinks their own candidate wins every debate. I just think that yeah, they, 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 they just think that like it probably wouldn't persuade a lot of people. Mm -hmm. either, either it wouldn't persuade people one way or the other, or it wouldn't help her. While Adams... I don't think it would help Katie at all. From what I've seen from Carrie, man, is she fierce. <laughs> and we saw the clip at the beginning of Katie Hobbs literally running from a minority, right? The, 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 what are the very people that are supposed to be like the backbone of <laughs> like, how does that image look? Black guy sits down at the table. How you doing, Katie Hobbs? I'm such and such from such and such. I would just like to <laughs> literally spilled her drink. <laughs> make this stuff up literally spilled the drink goodness gracious was afraid to tell the uber driver who she was 
Like if if, if I'm running, I'm telling anybody and everybody. Because who knows? Maybe maybe he has a whole lot of connections. He has a whole lot of friends. He was very popular in the city or something. You know, like, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm such and such. I'm running with such and such party. These are some of my things that I believe in. I don't know if you're for the left or for the right, but these are some of the things that I believe in. Blah, blah, blah. Lay it out all, all, all out right there. What's the issue? I'm telling anybody and everybody, right? That's the smart thing to do. Do y'all agree? Let me know in the comment section. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Y'all tell me seems concerned about Hobbs not <coughs> debating Carrie Lake, Hobbs campaign manager, Nicole DeMont, seems to encourage Katie not to debate. Did you watch the GOP primary debate? No. Okay. Well, there's a clip on Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, like a two minute recap clip, and it was a shit show. It was like really embarrassing mm -hmm. for Arizona. And when they off, when clean elections was like, here's the debate format, it was exactly the same as the primary. Mm. And I was like, we're not going to put her in that. Mm. Like, she's not going to be part of something like that. Like, mm. if you want to make a format that actually allows for, like, a substantive policy debate. Yeah. Mm. And we, where you can, like, compare positions. Sure, we'll do that. So they want to see Carrie create this, like, spectacle. I... And we're like, we're not yeah. participating in that. And we're doing a bunch of forums. I need to check out the video that she referenced there. Because I'll admit, I, I, I haven't seen it, so I have no clue what she's talking about. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comment section. Or if you know the video uh, that she's specifically speaking about, either you can link it below or send it to me via DM, Instagram, Twitter, or drop it in the Discord server, please. Because I, de I definitely want to see it because I, um, you know, I want to know what she's talking about. Um, and like actually hear both sides. <clears throat> According to DeMont, Hobbs would only debate if it were substantive policy and to compare positions. Well, here is her head political consultant, Joe Wolf, discussing Hobbs' position on gun control. Would Katie support something like an assault weapons ban? If she could, yeah. I mean, that, the problem is that's a federal issue, right? Like, right. Or like if something came down in the states. Yeah. Because I noticed like Kelly's kind of open about it. And I know Katie said like, oh, she supports gun reform. But <laughs> I, I haven't heard anything explicit. Is that more just because, is there like a big difference between Policy-wise, no, between the people, so much is just because it's a federal issue, and, like, you know, there's nothing she could do about it. Right. At least immediately, right? Instead of kind of advocating for it publicly, which is really more impactful once you're governor. So it's kind of like, in this state, unfortunately, it's crazy and the gun, so we're not going to take the beat for it before she can do anything about it. Oh. So if she mentioned it publicly, that would not be good? I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. More likely than not. Because I haven't been in Arizona too long, so I don't really know. Like, he would never say something like Tom O'Halloran, a congressman, Democrat, represents all this. Never. Really? Never say anything like that. Really? Because that's such a big issue here, huh? Correct. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. Wolf tells. Uh, you sneaky son of a. So you waiting until you get in office. Then you want to start hollering about, okay. Sneaky, sneaky our journalists that Hobbs would support an assault weapon ban if she could. This conversation happened following Wolf driving our journalist around with an AR-15 in the car. Is that an AR-15? That is an AR-15. Yeah, he had it broken down in the backpack when we started. He just pulled it out. It can fit in a backpack? Yeah, this, this folds down. It's a crowd control weapon. Easier to fire than a handgun. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's kind of scary. That's why it's scary. Our Project Veritas action reporter, R.C. Maxwell, met up with Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs, and this is what she had to say. How's it going to be scary there? R.C. Maxwell with Project Veritas action. Yeah. That's a brief question about the statement that you've made. Oh, you just closed your soda. Going inside of a restroom, she ran. Considering your campaign drives around with an AR-15, don't you think rules for the but not for me is problematic for someone running for state office. The car is locked, Ms. Hobbs. Secretary Hobbs, ladies and gentlemen, running from a Project Veritas action reporter doesn't want to discuss policy. So, like, I don't want to talk to <laughs> the way he called me said, the door is locked. <laughs> Can you run that back? R15, don't you think rules for the but not for me is problematic for someone running for state office? The car is locked, Ms. Hobbs. <laughs> the car is locked, Miss Hobbs. <laughs> oh man! Harry Hobbs, ladies and gentlemen, running 
from a Project Veritas action reporter, doesn't want to discuss policy. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk politics to anyone who I don't know. I don't want to talk politics with anyone I don't know. Well, technically, you don't know all of the citizens of that state, so you don't want to talk to them about it? Interesting. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, one of the most entertaining things um, that I have seen thus far. <laughs> I have never seen. Now, maybe this has happened before previously, you know, because once again, I am still new to this. All right. Maybe this has happened before, but I have never seen a politician run from questioning so much in one video i mean my goodness i mean literally run <laughs> i've seen politicians like you know like you know dance around a question you know not directly answer it but at least they're talking right she literally got up and ran spilled the drink everything ran into the bathroom <laughs> tried to get in the car when it was locked i love what the guy says <laughs> miss hobbs it's locked <laughs> But then one of the one of the most ignorant statements that I heard was I don't want to talk politics with someone that I don't know. That's her job. She doesn't know everyone in that state. So what? She's not going to talk to any of the citizens that are supposed to come out and cast a ballot for like what well, how does that work? I'm I'm confused. I'm just lost. That made zero sense. And the fact that she's running and hiding from Uber drivers, like, like I said earlier, I'm telling anybody and everybody who I am and what it is that I stand for, right? Because I know everything is polarized, you know? So if someone is a part of the left and you say, hey, I'm such and such, I, I am a, you know, Republican and blah, 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 they might immediately shut you down. So I would state what I stand for and, you know, maybe say, hey, I don't I don't know if you're for the left or for the right. But this this is what I stand for, you know, kind of situation instead of like putting a a um, a label on myself because I know how that looks to certain folks. But I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Minus the label. <laughs> she just didn't want to say anything. Oh, yeah, I, I, I just work for the campaign. What? This is your shot to get an extra person, possibly an entire family. Like, what if, what, if, what if that Uber driver went home? Hey, I rode with Katie Hobbs and she was so amazing. This was this was like the one of the greatest conversations I've ever had, blah, blah, blah. Like, that could have looked good. And then those family members could have went to work. Hey, my family member met with Katie Hobbs and blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, that, that could have spread. But... And that's why, that's why I said, man, some, sometimes, you know, watch, watching a couple of these videos, I've had some ideas, you know, because I'm like, man, I think I could really execute on that. <laughs> you know, but hey, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.